Costa Rica raises red alert for Poaz volcano amid escalating eruptions. Costa Rica's National Emergency Commission CNE, has declared a red alert for Poaz Volcano National Park after reporting continued increases in eruptive activity. Authorities noted that this week's eruption produced ash plumes that exceeded 4,000 meters 13,000 feet in height, with some columns reaching 4,500 meters 14,000 feet above the crater rim, the most powerful blast from the volcano's current eruption. Following the recommendation of its technical advisory committee, made up of, of Sikori Une, RSNUCR, UNA's Atmospheric Chemistry Laboratory, and SINAC, the CNE simultaneously raised the alert level in adjacent areas. Grecia and Sarchi were moved to orange, while Rio Cuarto, Zarcero, Naranjo, Poas, and Alajuela were placed on yellow alert due to the wider spread of ash and gas and the increased risk of lahars. Experts point out that on April 21 and April 23, Poas produced very energetic eruptions, with columns of gas and ash rising as high as 4,500 meters above the crater, a dramatic increase compared to early April activity, when the columns averaged 1,500 meters. The volcano remains at alert level 3 on the four-level national scale, and its aviation color code remains at orange indicating airborne ash that continues to be hazardous to aviation. Un Under red alert, access to the Poas Volcano National Park is strictly prohibited. Authorities warn of extreme dangers, ballistic blocks, high concentrations of gas emissions, and rapid ash buildup that could collapse buildings and overwhelm emergency responders. SINAC has closed all park access roads and facilities indefinitely, urging tourists and park staff to comply with the ban. In areas under orange alert, especially the Toro Amarillo district of Sarchi, officials highlight the threat of lahars. Heavy rainfall at the summit of the volcano could add large volumes of ash and debris to the Desag, Anono, Gorion, and Agrio rivers, endangering communities along the rivers. Residents are urged not to approach or drink from these waterways until conditions stabilize. For areas under yellow alert, residents and travelers should expect periodic ashfall and concentrations of volatile gases as wind patterns change. The CNE recommends that everyone, especially those with asthma or other respiratory conditions, wear a mask, ideally an N95, cover doors and windows with a damp cloth, and limit time spent outdoors. Local health clinics have been advised to prepare for increased patient visits related to ash inhalation and irritation.